and I'm back with more to tell you about the glorious evolution of life. Today I'll be talking about the whole Cenozoic era, the third era of the three major eras, okay? The Paleoan era, the Mesozoic era and the Cenozoic era which I'll be talking about. So let's get started with the Cenozoic era. So I thought up until the part when the dinosaurs went extinct due to an asteroid crash. Okay, and I also told you some small mammals, some small dinosaurs, the weaklings, somehow they managed to survive into the Cenozoic era. During this era, there were like major climate changes. And this, like the Mesozoic era, is divided into three main periods. They are the Paleogene, the Neogene period, and finally the Quaternary period. Okay, so let's get started with the first period of the Cenozoic era. The Paleogene. The Paleogene period was like when life started to diversify greatly. Okay, so there was like a group of dinosaurs, and some of them went into a bird-like life. Some of them went into a reptile-like life. You get the idea, right? Like the Paleogene period was really just an evolving stage. So also one thing you should notice about this period is that even plants started to diversify. Okay, it might be surprising, but Grass, normal grass, simple grass that we don't consider big. They diversified. Moving on, next period is the Neogene period. The Neogene period was like when a mammoths or smilodons. Well, smilodons were like the very late part of it. So let's just keep it like the mammoths, mastodons days, okay? So the mammoths and mastodons the giant creatures that roam the earth and also the ancestors of African elephant. Ah. Anyway, elephants were like having big ears, right? Elephants have big ears, you must know that, right? Well, mammoths had small ears. Okay, they were way smaller than this. But their size were bigger than your elephant. Okay? So that's kind of funny, right? I mean, how could one small mammoth having small ears evolve into an elephant with giant ears? Well, that's basic word adaptation to the climate. So anyway, the Neogene period had drastic changes in climate. It became cooler and cooler and cooler. Okay? So as the Neogene period's temperature started to go cooler and cooler and cooler, it also went up slowly, okay? into the quaternary period during the quaternary period like temperature started to go up some of our species of animals started to go extinct okay the saber tooth tiger went extinct evolving into newer forms it's kind of like that right so the quaternary period also saw the evolution of humankind all of us we evolved but our ancestors weren't as developed as us. Trust me, it's true. Anyway, so it's not like a grandfather or grandmother during the quaternary period. It's like, how do I put this? How would you feel if you were related to the starting of some giant monkey, okay, an ape? You would feel kind of ridiculous, right? Because you make, you go to the zoo, you make fun of animals. Well, guess what? You're related to them. So don't worry, you're pretty much the most developed animal on, in the whole world, okay? And one thing you should know is that humans also started to develop during the Neogene period. The Quaternary period, you think it might have an ending, but guess what? It doesn't. We are still in the Quaternary period, okay? Anyway, it's the end of the Cenozoic era because I pretty much finished the evolution of life. But now, next time I'll be talking about the rise of empires. But that's the topic for another day. And in the meantime